Hi guys, um, I thought I'd do a quick video, well I'll say quick video, but a video of me doing the Mini Art Crossroads Diorama Base. Now I've never built one of these Mini Art um, bases uh, before, um, so I thought I'll do a video of me basically building it up. I'll try and show it warts and all, mistakes and all. Um, that way then hopefully people can learn by not making the same mistakes that I make. Anyway, so that's the one I'm building. Okay, I've already started it actually to be fair. I've already cut out certain parts of it. Well, so it's an halfway through doing that, so I thought, well, why don't I do a video of it? So basically, all I need at the moment is that, a pointy thing, okay, because I found the best way to cut out this back form is with a pointy thing, rather than trying to use a knife or anything else, because I find, I think with a knife you're going to score and it'll suddenly kick up or whatever and you've had it with a pointy thing it's pretty easy basically all you do is you just score it I'll show you I'm not, I'm not going to go through the whole thing with it but I'll show you then I shall go away and come back when it's done kind of thing right so basically get the scorey thing and just It's as simple as that. Simple as that. All the straight edges are as simple. When it comes to doing a long gear, these sort of edges, using the pointy thing, it just follows it. I'll quickly show you. You just, just let it take the edge. you'll find that that will come away quite easy. In fact, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll actually do this one piece to show you how easy it comes off.
so I'm just checking that it's still there. little bit of clean up on the edge but that will be done when you come to assemble it with a file just to take the edge obviously I've got to cut a, that piece all the windows um, oh, not the camera over uh, what else um, there's quite a lot actually it's quite an impressive um, Sure what they are, but now it's all going to be cut out. So I'll uh, come back to you when it's all done. All right, guys. See you in a minute. All right, guys. I've uh, I'm back. I've cut it all out. As you can see, all the windows and doors are cut out. All the pieces are cut out. Now, a tip that I've picked up off uh, off YouTube. Uh, I can't. I apologise for the person. But I can't remember whose video it was I watched. Um, but a tip that I picked up when coming to sanding this to try and make it as equally smooth, get a piece of sandpaper, yeah, put that on there. That way, then everything you're not getting with like using a sanding stick and you do that you could get you know whereas doing it that way you're getting them all fairly level I'm not going to say perfect because I don't think you can ever get things perfect but to a, a fair degree so that's what I should be doing next you know just get a nice bit of that Quick rub down, and it just takes off that extra bit of burr. All right, so that's my next bit. I'll be back in a bit when I'm, once I've done that. Cheers, guys. Hi guys. Back in a bit. Right, it's me. Right, yes. So everything's been cut out. Everything's been sanded down. It's moved off. So now it comes to the part where we have to glue the sides together. Now I've done some because I've been practicing. Right, so I'll make sure it worked first. As you can see, we haven't got a lot of uh, area for putting the glue. Now you have to put these two sides together. As you can see, there's not a lot of space, not a lot of edge. So what I've been doing is, because you get all these little bits of off cuts. So what I've been doing is, I've been, you can see that, 
cutting bits out and placing them in strategic parts. But what I've discovered is it that works, but it also gives it strength to put the clamp on. So what I'll do is I'll do this one and I'll show you. So I've glued I've already glued these into place, so I've measured them. There's a little bit of a lip. I don't know if you can see a bit of a lip there. Yeah. So now basically all I do now is run a bit of glue along there, along the edges. Oh, and I'm not using extra thin by the way, I know it looks like it, but I'm not. What I'm actually using is your normal uh, it's just that but I've put in an extra thin bottle, empty one because it makes it easier to use and then all you do then is no, hang on. miss one And then you just place it in place, making sure that everything gets the right way around. And as you can see now, you gotta just all you gotta do is just slide them in, and it makes it stronger, so I can clamp it. But what I tend to do now is clamp it as best you can clamp it where I've got a not too tight just enough to hold it in place without taking away the form I wonder if that will work for that top one yep doesn't take very long to dry either which is the so these clamps aren't held up for a long time so that's now in place so what I do then is because once I've because I've still got gaps to fill so what I do then is I just run this along the seam Bear in mind that once it's been primed and everything else, you won't really see it. So. It's got a bit loose. It's that. Yeah, and that's it then, to be fair. I'll just then leave that to dry now, give it about 10 minutes, I'll clamp it and it's 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 held together and then I can do the other bits and all the small little bits. Um, so yeah, so that'll be that'll be it for me for today. Um, <coughs> so what I'll do is without further ado, I'll say goodbye and I'll see you in the next one. The next one I shall um, I don't actually know what I'll be doing in the next one, but it'll be more to do with this anyway. I'm going to see where my next next part is for that. Right, anyway guys, thanks a lot. I hope this is helpful. See you later. Bye. Okay guys, this is quickly another one just to add on to the end. Um, I'll show you my first mistake. I've just discovered my first mistake. So, basically, I jump in the gun. I've cut all the sides out and I've glued them all together. Okay. 
all glued. So I thought, oh, I'll just dummy put them together. I think, well, they don't fit together right. What's going on? So I thought, I know, I'm a bloke. I'll have to do that strange thing. Look at the instructions. And I don't know if you can see, on the instructions here, it shows putting the two sides together, but then it also shows this shaded area here. And lo and behold, I've got to cut these bits out. Yeah? Same on the other side as well, on the other pieces, it's got to need cutting out. But I've worked apart from the one, the one side here, I've glued all the other sides together. But I managed to get that one off on that one. So that side's been cut off. I'm now in the process of putting that one off. And then once I've managed to get that off, they'll slot together. So lesson learnt by me, always read the instructions. <laughs> anyway, that's definitely it for me. So yeah, I'm now going to cut this off. So, But yeah, that's definitely it for me. So until next time guys, I'll catch you later. Bye.